Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are approaching the most important week of the year, the Holy Week. These are the days during which we follow Christ from his triumphant entrance into Jerusalem to the foot of the cross on Calvary and finally to an empty tomb. And on normal conditions, you would during the coming days flock to churches and celebrate the mystery of the Passion and the Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This year, however, it will be completely different. We won't be able to celebrate the sacraments in common. According to the teaching of the Church, each Catholic is obliged to receive Holy Communion during the Easter time, and, if possible and needed because of the gravity of his or her sins, to receive the sacrament of reconciliation. We call it the Easter duties. However, this will not be possible this year, and most of us will have the question, how do we face this special situation? According to the teaching of the Church, under such particular circumstances like this year, you are freed from this obligation. However, you can receive forgiveness of sins if you look honestly into your life, recognize your sins, and approach the merciful God by making an act of perfect contrition. With the commitment also to confess your grave sins to a priest on the next possible occasion you have after the lockdown caused by the pandemic. If you do so, your sins are forgiven and your conscience is freed from the burden by the mercy of God. Although you are not able to participate in the Mass in common and to receive the body of Christ in the sacrament, you can, in a good tradition of our Church, receive the Holy Communion spiritually. Desire to receive Him and pray with a humble heart the same prayer which we always do before the Holy Communion. Lord. I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Jesus showed his mercy to the criminal hanging on the cross at his right hand. He will show it to you equally. Remember the first word of the risen Lord to his disciples. Peace be with you. Then he speaks about the forgiveness of sins. You are not deprived of this Easter gift if you open your heart to the one who has given his life on the cross out of love for all of us. You cannot touch the sacrament physically, but remember the word of the risen Lord to the Apostle Thomas. Just after having professed him as his Lord and God, Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Dear friends, we are those who have not seen, especially this year, and yet believe. I am greeting you with the words of the risen Lord, like at the beginning of the Mass. Peace be with you. And I bless all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.